Hey, good morning, Dave. Officials are telling us that this flood has been difficult to predict because, as you can see, it is moving at such a fast pace here. This is the Colorado River right near the Starkey Dam. That is a 281 bridge you're looking at right now. This is abnormal for the Colorado River to move so fast, according to Atlanta. Lano County Office of Emergency Management. The river has crested at just over 24 feet and nearly 99,000 cubic feet per second. It will start to recede, but the river will still remain well above the flood stage for a good portion this morning. Right now, all of the water is making its way to Lake LBJ, so the LCRA has opened floodgates at that lake as well as Lake Marble Falls to diminish any possible flooding. At this point, all older roads with a concrete slab pavement are closed in Llano. Some low water crossings also flooding due to this backflow of the river. Authorities say it's usually still water, so it's not moving, but it can still be dangerous. So like you heard, officials are telling everyone who lives directly along the banks of the river or nearby to take immediate action to protect themselves and their property, especially their property, because we've been out here for about 45 minutes now, and we've already seen what appears to be a small boat and a jet ski. Hey, good morning, Lauren. City officials say the river has crested just above 24 feet. They have opened some floodgates to make sure that there are no possibilities of flooding here, including the one at Starkey Dam. City officials also in Lano say that they're preparing for the river to swell higher than they've seen it in more than a decade. It could climb above 20 feet depending on how much water spreads as it moves downstream. The Lower Colorado River Authority has opened floodgates at Lake LBJ and the Starkey Dam, like I just mentioned, to help alleviate flooding downstream. All low water crossings in the city of Lano will likely be closed for the next several days. This morning, the county emergency Emergency management coordinator is warning people not to get too close to the riverbank since the water is rising rapidly. Emergency crews are standing by with helicopters as well to make sure that if any problems occur, they are prepared. Warning for people this morning that live along Lake Lake Marble Falls. There have been a lot of watercrafts and jet skis, whatnot, that have become detached from whatever they were secured to. We've seen a lot of them going down this river here, probably heading toward the dam. Good morning, Lauren. Take a look at this. You can see just how fast the water is moving here along the Colorado River. This is a 281 bridge making its way towards the Starkey Dam. And because it is moving so fast, officials say this flood has been difficult to predict, which is abnormal for the Colorado River to have such fast moving waters. According to Lano County Office of Emergency Management, the river has crested at just over 24 feet and nearly 99,000 cubic feet per second. It will start to recede, but the river will still remain well above the flood stage for a good portion this morning. Right now, all of the water is making its way to Lake LBJ, so the LCRA has opened floodgates at that lake as well as this lake, which is Lake Marble Falls, to diminish any possible flooding. At this point, all older roads with a concrete slab pavement are closed in Lano, and some low water crossings are flooded due to the backflow of the river. Authorities say it's Usually still water, so it's not moving, but can still be dangerous. This morning, officials are telling everyone who lives directly along the banks of the river or nearby that they should take immediate action to protect themselves and their property. You also hear some of those officials saying to secure property. We've seen a couple of jet skis this morning. We just saw another object floating down the river as well as a boat earlier this morning. So a lot of these water objects are becoming detached from whatever they were secured to. Hey, good morning, Dave. City officials say that the river has crested just above 24 feet. This is a live look of Lake Marble Falls moving its way downstream to Starkey Dam. They have opened some floodgates like the one here to reduce the chances of any flooding. The city of Lano is also preparing for the river to swell higher than it they've ever seen in several years. It could climb above 20 feet depending on how much water spreads as it moves downstream. 
stream. The Lower Colorado River Authority has opened floodgates at Lake LBJ and the Starkey Dam, like I've mentioned, to help alleviate flooding downstream. All low water crossings in the city of Llano will likely be closed for the next several days. This morning, the county emergency management coordinator is warning people not to get too close to the riverbank since the water is rising rapidly. Lake Travis is also expected to rise between two to three feet over the next couple of days. Emergency crews are standing by just in case anything happens or occurs over the next several hours. Back to you. Hey, good morning, Amanda. The river has crested more than 24 feet, and that's the highest it's been since 2004. Because of that, officials here in Marble Falls and Llano have opened up some floodgates to help alleviate the chances of any possible flooding. I'm live in Marble Falls, but the city of Llano is also preparing for the river to swell higher than they've seen it in more than a decade. It could climb above 20 feet, depending on how much water spreads as it moves downstream. Originally, county of Officials predicted the flood stage would hit Lano around 6 o'clock this morning, but it happened late last night. The Lower Colorado River Authority has opened floodgates at Lake LBJ and the Starkey Dam here in Marble Falls to help alleviate flooding downstream. All low water crossings in the city of Lano will be closed for the next several days. This morning, the Lano River in Lano is in moderate flood stage, and it should get below that before rising back later today. And you can see that the water here still moving pretty fast this morning. Lake Travis also expected to rise between two to three feet over the next couple of days. Emergency crews are standing by with hel helicopters and boats if anything occurs. Hey, good morning to both of you. You know, we've been out here for several hours now. We've noticed a lot of jet skis and boats becoming detached from the docks along the river and then just flowing da uh, downstream towards the Starkey Dam. So people do want to make sure that their stuff is secured because it will be swept away. Officials say this flood has been difficult to predict because it's moving at such a fast speed, which is abnormal for the Colorado River. According to the Lano County of Office of Emergency Management, the river has crested just over 24 feet and nearly 99,000 cubic feet per second. It will start to recede and the Llano River near Mason is now below the flood stage, but it's expected to rise back to moderate level by tomorrow morning. Right now, all of the water is making its way to Lake LBJ, so the LCRA has opened floodgates at that lake as well as Lake Marble Falls to diminish any possible flooding. At this point, all older roads with a concrete slab pavement are closed in Llano. There are also some low water crossings that have flooded due to the backflow of the river. This morning, officials say it's usually still water, so it's not moving, but it can definitely still be dangerous. So again, officials are telling everyone who lives directly along the banks of the river or nearby that they should take immediate action to protect themselves as well as their property. Back to the studio. Good morning to both of you. The officials say that the river has crested more than 24 feet, and that's the highest it's been since 2004. I want to show you guys. We got a fisherman over who over here who just got here probably about 15 minutes ago. He says because of how high the water is, makes conditions better for fishing. So here he is trying to catch fish this morning. I'm in Marble Falls, city of Llano, also preparing for the river to swell higher than they've seen in more than a decade. It could climb above 20 feet depending on how much water spreads as it moves downstream. Officials say originally they predicted the flood stage to hit Llano around 6 o'clock this morning, but that happened late last night. The Lower Colorado River Authority has opened floodgates at Lake LBJ and the Starkey Dam to help alleviate some of the flooding downstream. All low water crossings in the city of Llano will likely be closed for the next several days. This morning, the Llano River in Lano is in moderate flood stage and it should get back below that before rising higher sometime today. Lake Travis is also expected to rise between two to three feet over the next few days. As for this fisherman over here, we'll definitely let you guys know if he catches anything in the next 30 minutes. Back to you. Yeah, you know, hope he's rewarded heading out early. Thanks, Jacqueline.
Hey, good morning, Amanda. Well, the river crested at just over 24 feet, which is the highest it's been for several years, roughly 14 years. But officials in Llano County and also here in Marble Falls warning people to still be extra cautious this morning. We have noticed the river out here is receding. The Llano River near Mason is now below the flood stage, but it is expected to rise back to a moderate level by tomorrow morning. Right now, all of the water is making its way to Lake LBJ, so the LCRA has opened floodgates at that lake as well as Lake Marble Falls to diminish any possible flooding. At this point, all roads, older roads with concrete slab pavement are closed in Llano, some low water crossings are flooding due to the backflow of the river. Authorities say it's usually still water, but it's not moving, so it still can be dangerous. And officials are still telling people to stay away from the banks of the river and if you live nearby here. But we do want to show you that that buoy you're seeing right now here along the car in the Colorado River. Well, we didn't notice that earlier this morning, so it, it appears definitely that the water is receding here, which is a good sign. Back to you. Jacqueline Sarkeesian reporting for us in Marble Falls. Jacqueline, thank you. The river has crested more than 24 feet, and that's the highest it's been since 2004. As you can see behind me, officials have had to open some of the floodgates to reduce the chances of any flooding. According to Llano County Office of Emergency Management, the river has crested just over 24 feet and nearly 99,000 cubic feet per second. It will start to recede and the Llano River near Mason is now below the flood stage, but it is expected to rise back to a moderate level by tomorrow morning. The city of Llano is also preparing for the river to swell higher than they've seen it in more than a decade. It could climb above 20 feet depending on how much water spreads as it moves downstream. Originally, county officials predicted the flood stage would hit Llano around 6 this morning, but it happened late last night. The Lower Colorado River Authority has opened floodgates at Lake LBJ and the Starkey Dam to help alleviate flooding downstream. All low water crossings in the city of Llano will likely be closed for the next several days. Today, the county emergency management coordinator is warning people not to get too close to the riverbank since the water is rising rapidly. We are concerned that folks uh, do not try to get near the river to sightsee or otherwise. The water will be rising by thousands of cubic feet per minute, and it can quickly overcome you uh, or leave you with no way out of what you thought was a safe situation. Lake Travis is also expected to rise two to three feet over the next couple of days. Emergency crews are standing by with helicopters and boats in case anything occurs. Reporting in Marble Falls, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 7 Austin News.